<sighs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mumkey and Asp. I mean, Mumkey's Gaming Expedition. It is with a heavy heart that I must inform all of you that our poor, poor Asperger has been drafted into the Vietnamese military to fight the battle against those goddamn commies. You see, Vietnam has recently had a resurgence in Jewish principles, AKA, of course, capitalism. And poor Burger was drafted <laughs> because as a boy, they spent three months living in, in Vietnam, him and his family. They lived in a military family, you see. <laughs> and one day, <laughs> After his brother showed him some hardcore porn when he was nine, <laughs> he, he, he got confused on the on the Vietnamese porn website and clicked a button that uh, signed him up for the draft. <laughs> uh, folks, <laughs> uh, Burger. Uh, okay, the writing has been on the wall. Let me tell you the whole story. I'm only filming this one episode. I'll, I'll give you everything you need to know in this one. This one hilarious episode. Uh, Burger, of course, got evicted. Uh, we've been hyping it up for weeks. He was getting sued by his landlord because he and his roommates had not paid the rent for one or two months. Uh, Burger, of course, was a completely innocent, as he is in all things. I'm sure there's no possible way it was his fault. Uh, joking aside, I think in this one it actually was not his fault. His roommates lied to him, robbed him of $2,000, split town. They didn't even show up to the court hearing. Burger showed up alone when all three of them were getting sued and evicted. And uh, Burger was equipped with uh, lots of evidence to prove that he was innocent. He had a, whole, a, a shit ton of uh, recordings and screen grabs of him uh, being lied to by his roommates, of him having his rent paid and all that. But uh, the court, he walked in, they said, fuck it, we don't care. Uh, there's no time. You're evicted. Get your shit and leave in the next ten days. If you want to sue your roommates, that's fine, but do it on your own time. Uh, I'm the judge and I don't give a single shit. Which in my mind is pretty upsetting. I think that's uh, it's an injustice, but what are you going to do? At the end of the day, Berger signed a lease and uh, the contract that he signed was broken. So I guess, you know, even if he's not at fault, he kind of is still liable. What are you going to do? So Berger immediately decides, you know what, I'm not going to try to live in Raleigh anymore. This little uh, two or three month experiment, it did not pay off uh, just because he picked two bad roommates. Otherwise, everything else is just fine, except for the, I guess, three uh, <laughs> relapses and uh, and his lack of initiative or uh, artistic drive to continue making videos and songs. When the whole reason why he moved out of his parents place was to become a full time artist slash Uber driver. Um, but all he did was uh, Uber drive. But that's uh, neither here nor there. He decides, uh, you know what? He's in love with this this Jackie. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard this this Jackie person. Um, yeah, and I don't know a whole lot about who this person is. I've never met her. Um, I don't think she's ever dated anybody that I'm uh, aware of. But uh, I guess uh, he wanted to move to Atlanta, Georgia, with this uh, this Jackie person. Still not sure who that is. And uh, he was up and gone. The day that I went to Florida, which was, I guess, last Monday, I think I'm recording this uh, on, on the Tuesday after I got back. So I was there. I was in Florida at Rusty Cages for a full week. Uh, the same day I went to Florida, he moved to Atlanta, packed up all his shit and was gone. And I think he's still planning on coming back to sue his roommates, but we'll get into that later because they did steal $2,000 from him. Uh, Florida was great. Uh, had a good time with Rusty. Uh, we recorded 10 hours worth of podcasts with the Emperor Lemon, if you're aware of that guy. We filmed a Wheel of Punishment, and here's the thing, we were going to film Wheel of Punishment on a Thursday, but then I thought, you know what, what if we just pushed it back and filmed it on Saturday, and then maybe Burger would have time to drive down here and actually be in it. And uh, that's what we did. And uh, Burger did end up being in the Wheel of Punishment. Probably the last big video I'll have with him for a long time since he just fucking moved away. Can you, uh, I keep seeing, um, Yeti, he does, uh, Mr. Sharp Yeti. If you guys don't watch, uh, Mr. Sharp Yeti, which most of you don't, uh, almost every night there's a YouTuber called Mr. Sharp Yeti who streams Spyro 1 and Spyro 3, uh, speedruns, and I'm always in there in the chat every night, so if you want to join in on the fun, hey, it worked! It worked! Hey, what do you know? What do you know? If you want to join, uh, join in on the fun, 
Uh, there's like an egg right here, right? Where's the egg? You can like swim around the whole thing. That's so cool. Uh, what I'm saying is uh, go subscribe to Mr. Sharpietti, the, the Spyro streamer, if you want to join in on the fun and, and watch Spyro streams with me every night. Oh, what was I saying? Burger went and did it. Oh, shit. Where's this egg? There's like an egg right here. Hello? Yeti, where's this fucking egg? I s I've seen you do this a hundred times. Oh. Oh, the game. Did the game freeze? <laughs> Hello? Hey! No! No, I'm stuck! Oh, exit level. God damn it, I glitched it too hard. Okay. Go subscribe to Sharp Yeti. I'll probably put a link to his channel in the description. He's less than a thousand subs. And I really want to help him get to a thousand, but this video is going to get like 800 views, so I don't think we're going to help him too much. But clearly, if you hear you like Spyro. Or maybe not. Maybe you just like me and Asperger, even though Burger's gone. That's the point. Burger's gone, which means this is no longer the Mumkey and Asperger gaming expedition, because the whole point was that we would be doing Let's Plays together. You'd get a, a daily upload of me and Burger shenanigans every day, and then we would both do our side things. Uh, but clearly, you know, the side things were not paying off. <laughs> uh, Burger has not uploaded his Nuzlocke in three weeks even though his eviction was last week. So clearly that was not going to continue, regardless of if he was part of the channel or not. And well, I gotta kill all these things again? Awesome. Great. That's the last time I try to glitch the game. Uh, so as far as this Spyro series goes, we are going to try to finish it together. This should be the only episode that's just me. Because when Burger comes back to go to court to sue his former roommates, he's gonna need a place to stay, so he'll probably stay here for, you know, those couple days, and uh, we can finish the Let's Plays there, maybe do one last stream together. But, on the subject of streaming, you're thinking, oh, but Monkey, why not just, uh, why not just let Burger stay on this channel and, uh, and keep streaming on it and all that? And that's what I would do, except, Burger, the reason why he needed to stream on this channel in the first place, god damn it, why is it so hard to catch this fucking thing, when I just need a butterfly? This is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit! <laughs> Yeti, how do you do it? Uh, Burger could not stream on his main channel because he got his Elliot Roger 3 song taken down and you can't stream when you have a strike. But that strike expired, like, literally the day that he moved to Jackie's. So it was like it was all destiny. It was destiny for him to no longer be on this channel. Because we would split all the revenue from the streams 50-50, but Burger made way more money streaming on this channel than I ever did, by far. You guys kept giving him, like, hundreds of dollars, and when I stream, I don't get shit. So just for fairness to Burger, I told him, you know what, just just go back to streaming on your channel. Like, you get to keep 100% of the money. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, it's, I, I don't have to rob you anymore, even though, I mean, I, I do all the other work on this channel, so it was a little more 50-50. I was like, buddy, I mean, if you can't be here to do the show in person with me, then it's not really Mumkey and Burger's gaming expedition, and you'll make more money, and the whole point of doing this shit for you is to make money, because it's your fucking job. So just go back to streaming your Fortnite shit or whatever the hell dumbass Overwatch game you play. Go back and stream that on your main channel now that you can again. Keep all the money for yourself. And, uh... I mean, it's not like you're doing your Nuzlocke anymore, so that's completely irrelevant. And, uh, you're not here in person to do this, so you just, uh, just go back to your channel. And I'll just, uh, make this a Monkey Solo channel again. Yeah, if you guys are upset about that, I'm more upset than anybody. I think it's a very sad turn of events. I was looking forward to a long and lucrative and fun uh, 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 professional and uh, friendship career with Burger living in my city. We did a whole bunch of things together for my channel. We never had the opportunity to really do anything for his channel because he <laughs> is incapable of being creative, I guess, uh, when he's... Uh, it's always an excuse with Burger, but whatever. That's uh, that's the Burger we know and love. Am I right, folks? Where the fuck did that thing go? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we uh, you know he was in the the Monkey Cop thing, even though he he didn't make the Monkey Cop song after two months advance. <laughs> I don't want to turn this into shitting on Burger, um, but the the point is, even though it seems like everything's gonna be changing, really nothing's changing. <laughs> Burger will still be making nothing. Uh, and uh, this channel will resume, I guess, without him. So I guess, uh, in a way, it is changing. But it's only reverting back to the way it was two months ago. What I'm saying, it was it was very short-lived. And very, uh, it was too bad. Because uh, I'm, I'm so bad at making friends that I had to convince my only friend to move to my city. And after two months, now he's living with his fucking girlfriend. But what are you going to do? I guess now I'll have to go outside and actually try to make friends. Which is just disgusting. 
Maybe this is my, my desperate plea to anybody who lives in the Raleigh, North Carolina area. <laughs> to please come be my friend. Because <laughs> my only friend left me. He got evicted and moved in with his girlfriend. Didn't even try to find a new place down here. Didn't bother. He didn't want to. Took the easy way out. Truly disgusting. <laughs> True. He's a disgusting man. But with that being said, he will be back, hopefully within the month or two. And we will finish this game, we will finish this Let's Play for sure. And the other big news is that my brother Patchy, who has been featured in many a Let's Play, me and him did a Mega Man Legends Let's Play together on this channel about a year ago. He's coming to visit for a couple weeks in November. So maybe for, uh, maybe for a month we'll have uh, Mumkey and Patchy's gaming expedition. But then after he's gone, and then after me and Burger finish up this series, it really will just be back to Mumkey's gaming expedition. Which I guess means uh, more Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. Because <laughs> I, uh, I don't really play anything else. So if you like Yu-Gi-Oh! and you like Nuzlocks, uh, clearly this is still the channel for you. And I don't think I'm going to beat this whole level in this episode because I've said everything I need to say. So maybe after I catch this Eggman, we'll, uh, we'll call it a night. And I'll have to hopefully remember what I need to do when we resume this, probably like in a month or whenever the fuck Burger gets here. I think when Patchy comes, we're going to try to play through Mega Man Legends 2... Just because, like, me and him played the first one. Um, but if you guys have any better suggestions, let me know in the comments. Uh, nothing too difficult. It's mostly a show about talking with your brother and with your friend and not about gameplay. So nothing that'll really drive us crazy trying to figure it out. Like this Eggman is. Usually I'm so good at catching these Eggmen, but this guy seems fucking fast. He seems... Maybe I should just swim to catch him. But then I'll glitch the game again. Fuck you, I'm, I'm gonna try to glitch it and swim after him again then. You fucking fast bitch. Fast bitch. Yeah, hey, how do you like that, Eggman? Run away now, motherfucker! Oh, what, you don't see me? Oh, he's... Oh. He can still see me when I'm glitching the game? Fuck! This is fucking bullshit, look at this shit! I'm even slower when I swim! Oh, god damn it. Fuck this. Fuck this! Let me on the ground. Oh my god, I'm just stuck swimming until I die. Oh man. Can I do a kamikaze fucking Japan attack? Like Burger's gonna do against the, uh, whatever, the Chinese army in Vietnam? <laughs> Here we go! Ah! God damn it! God damn it! Okay. Okay, that fixed it. He should not be that good. This is a game for children. I've done this a million times. Why is this Eggman so fucking fast? What am I missing? I'm, I'm cutting all the corners. He just keeps uh, getting ahead of me. I don't know how I could go any faster. TBH fam. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. I got you. I got you. I fucking got you. Ah! No! Mr. Sharp Yeti's probably laughing it up. Hey, okay, I got it. Good. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not beating this level. I gotta do some dumbass minigame. So, uh, we'll be back in an undisclosed amount of time with Burger. And, uh... No, it was, uh, it was a Mr. Bones wild ride. We got a, a really remarkable Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play out of his time here, and we got almost a full Spyro 3 Let's Play. And uh, some cool live streams. I really liked the live stream where we played the game of life with our girlfriends. I thought that was fun. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's been fun. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next time.